the simplest tools that I have today and some wire cutters tape measure wire board has a screw the screw already has a hole drilled out the hole and then this hole is the secondary hole that was already there I basically feed the wire into the hole skateboard hole or a piece of wood with the hole and then a secondary hole for the screw we could get this screw better aligned with the hole. Um, it was a first time creation, and that's to make these Igena spirals. Not this one, but these ones. And then I made this one also. Electroculture, Magnetoculture, Stevo, Magneto, Electrico. I also found this weird antenna. Looks like it's already in the shape of the spiral that I need. I'm using this 10 gauge copper. I also have 12 gauge galvanized steel, 14 gauge galvanized steel. Cutting it to the length of a royal cubit. The other side of the board has the wire and the screw showing. And then you basically have a 45 outside the hole. And then when you uh, fit it, what I'll do is just start bending it. And what I'm doing is anti-clockwise, and that'll make a count. That'll make a clockwise spiral. Again, anti-clockwise will make a count. Will make a clockwise spiral. I use leverage of the wire when I'm doing my bend. It's one bend around, and you'll want to keep it flat. As I'm winding the wire keeping it flat against the board I'll kind of shape it and uh, again I'll use leverage to kind of keep wrapping it I'll keep shaping the wire firmly against the board keeping it flat as I'm winding it and this will help when I shape it later on my final wine, I'll have something like this, and then we'll shape it in a little bit. I'll show you the last steps, and we'll remove the screw so we could um, take this out. Once the screw's removed, you have something like this, and then we'll shape it in a second. Forgive me for at the beginning of the video where I mentioned you'll only need a board and a few tools. Um, you will also need a stick or a screwdriver, and I'll show you in a moment um, what we're going to use them for. Yeah, I use something just to kind of pry um, the wire apart, start spacing it apart, giving it the good coil and um, spring-like shape for this Igina spiral. And all I'll keep doing is winding the stick around the spiral, opening it up, and um, shaping everything. I want to say this last wind, or this last little coil is where it gets tricky. You may have to use your um, pliers or wire cutters or something to kind of help you bend it and shape it. A lot of times you could just keep winding it on that final last wind to um, space it out um, but just in case you may need pliers just kind of pull it apart there at the end in this case I just kind of kept shaping it until everything came um, into the proper spacing your finished product should look something like this you may need um, pliers wire cutter something to kind of help you bend it at the end to straighten it you can use your hands also to get the circles or coils straight again at the beginning I was saying that I did a anti-clockwise wrap 
and that's to make sure that it is clockwise at the end. And then in this case, you're looking at the galvanized right next to it. That's galvanized steel, and it is in the um, shape ready to be finished. And I'll use a pair of screwdriver, or I'll use a screwdriver there since it's a little stronger metal to work with. Many of you may know how to make this just by um, kind of getting the idea of making the original again a spiral. But I'll definitely make a video just to make a quick how to and show everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Hope everyone's doing great. Have a wonderful start of your July and happy gardening. Yeah, this was my old style. I just used a coffee can, a hole, a screw, making my spirals in that way. Maybe I should just make a big slinky with the rest of this wire. That would be fun too.